All right, so who's ready for some Training Tuesday? I hope you all said a big yes, but too bad I can't hear you because you're muted. <laughs> My name is Heidi Reese. I hope you know this voice. Um, I am with the Dayton Superior and Simons Training Department, and we're here to talk about top paths and mainly applications today. I'm happy to have you guys with us, taking time out of your busy schedules. I appreciate that. Like I mentioned, all of you are muted, but I still want you to go through and ask the questions that you might have during and especially at the end when we have a mini question answer session. Um, you can do that through the Zoom functionality in the question answer or the chat. So as a reminder, each of our webinars are recorded and placed on Dayton Superior YouTube channel, as well as DaytonSuperior.com, the website, and just search on Training Tuesday and you will get to all the good stuff. So this presentation is intended for training purposes only. Anything that you're going to do before using the product, any technical information, specifications, or safety data sheets can be found on datesuperior.com. Please refer to that website to get all the information on TopCast, and you should be good to go. So just real quick, who is Dayton Superior? We are not just about the chemicals that you're here to talk about but we're the leading provider of engineered solutions for the concrete construction industry. Not only specializing in those chemicals, but also accessories and forming, whether it's accessories for tilt-up or precast, or the products needed to splice rebar together, we've got you covered. Bridges, we have bridge overhang brackets along with Simon's forming systems that are very adaptable with each other. And not only for the bridges, but these are pretty kick butt systems that are really geared for what you would need. So check them all out on datesuperior.com. You may have known these, you know, what I just mentioned um, from you know ordering them or just knowing about them. But keep in mind that we can really make it easier by being your single source selection solution, excuse me, provider, getting you those products that you need. And not only the products, but keep in mind that we have the largest engineering group that is here ready to assist you, especially and including chemical specifications. We stand behind our products through trainings. So here's a good segue for training. So as you probably know, if you've been to the Training Tuesdays before, they're very quick and insightful, but they can be kind of a precursor to wanting to further your knowledge on topics with longer or more in-depth instruction. Um, so I just want to let you know, we're talking more about top, ass, top cast applications. And <laughs> uh, with that, we're going to go a little quicker. We want to tell you about TopCast, but we're under the assumption that you've heard of it. Um, so we're going to go a little quicker through that. But here's the thing. You can request customized uh, training through training at DaytonSuperior.com. And I'll even have a QR code for you at the very end that you can scan and make it happen. I'll just remind you when we get there. Okay, so who's going to expand that knowledge today? We have the two Jeffs with us, so I'm having fun with this one, as you can tell. They are both a technical service representative for the chemical side, one for East and one for the West. Uh, like I mentioned, we'll first start the training Tuesday by briefly discussing, <clears throat> excuse me, what surface retarders are and how they work, and then go into the system showing you how to achieve great results through those best practices, among some other elements that one of the Jeffs will discuss. Okay, so who's first? Who are these so-called Jeffs I'm talking about? First up, we're gonna hear from Mr. Jeff Cole, and he is a business graduate from the University of Pittsburgh and has been in the construction chemicals and building products industry since 1992. Then we're gonna hear from Jeff Mason, another chemical TSR from the West. He's the West side versus the East, and will show us various applications of TopCast and discuss his territory's projects, any challenges, and basically what's going down in his region. And maybe the other Jeff can put in some input for the East. We'll see. So Jeff Mason has been in the chemical industry for over 25 years, focusing on concrete restoration within both of their TSR roles. And what they do on a day-to-day -day basis is they, they help the customers on specification and technical assistance. They work through any challenges on the job site and they provide the best product for the project. So now you know the Jeffs, let's get on to getting started. Mr. Cole, have at it. Appreciate you all being here today, uh, learning about TopCast. So we're gonna be going through our TopCast decorative finish system and all its applications for exposed aggregates. 
So, sorry about the delay there. Uh, what are what are they? What is surface retarders? They're chemical agents that react with cement paste near the concrete surface to delay the hardening process. So you see the graphics down below, you have your slab, you spray down the top cast, and then the third one is the removal process. We're gonna be going through all three of those. How do they work? After screeding and before bowl floating concrete, various sizes of aggregates, fine aggregates, cement paste rises to the surface. Top cast is absorbed by the upper cement paste showing the hardening rate Depending on the desired effect, loose paste and some amounts of fine and medium aggregates are removed. Now, you can also seed aggregates in there as well. Uh, we'll probably be going over that on the next uh, few slides here. Okay, when and how do I apply? After the final finishing is completed, once the bleed water is no longer present, moisture sheen is visible and concrete is firm to the touch. Okay, concrete firm to the touch is very important. I always do a thumb test. Uh, you want to do an indentation into that cement paste and be able to indent into it, but not pull up any paste on your thumb. That's how you know you're ready to spray top cast. And you're going to apply using a low pressure commercial grade sprayer. I recommend the Hudson or Chapin steel sprayers with a 0.05 fan tip. And uh, we'll go into that uh, further here. Okay, how do I remove? Uh, use water and brushing. So you can remove this with a garden hose and a stiff bristle brush. Uh, preferred is a slow speed buffer with 80 grit bristle brush. Uh, can also use a uh, pressure washer too, but you want to be careful. You do not want to go and create lines and markings into that surface. So uh, just be very careful with the removal process on that. Um, you also want to... Um, when the removal process, let's go back to that. Uh, you you want to be careful with your ambient temperatures, direct sunlight, wind, and whatnot. Typically, there's a window of four to six hours uh, from the time to apply top cast to the time that you remove it. So here are the overview features of top cast. Uh, spray on application for fresh concrete. If you go and look at the diagram, you'll see package color to the right. Each one of our pails are translucent and have a different color. This allows you to see what product you have uh, through the pail. Um, tended to visually verify uniformity of coverage. With that color uh, combinations that you see on the right, you will see that product, that color sprayed on the surface. Uh, that will go and eventually uh, change with UV light and it washes off. The product's water base. It meets VOC requirements in all 50 states plus Canada. Uh, environmentally friendly, uh, 12 different et uh, etch levels. Uh, we have the most variations of etch of any company out there that produces surface retarders. Okay, let me go back here. There we go. Protect and seal. Uh, providing a complete line designed to make the top cast application easier while providing various levels of protection and a range of glossy finishes. Um, spray or roll after bleed water dissipates, uh, concrete thumbprint hard. We've already gone over that. We've gone over the rinse, uh, expose within 24 hours, uh, rinse same day and pressure wash next day. Protect. We have various levels of stain protection, hardeners, dust proofers, and sealers. Uh, that extend the life of your exposed aggregate surface. Uh, we have our PR300, which actually has a densifier in it, which will harden the surface. And it also has a uh, sideline in it, which will provide a waterproofer as well. And then show, uh, uniform finish every time increases productivity with better results. Um, one of the nice things about exposed aggregate finishes is um, gray broom finished concrete compared to gray broom finished uh, exposed aggregate with top cast, you're not looking that much more as far as uh, price per square foot. So uh, it's a very value added proposition to put in there to give your concrete a, a 3D effect without having just dull gray broom finished concrete. Okay. Top cast decorative finish system, uh, protect with the Sight Saver uh, 100, the SS100 Sight Saver. Uh, you're gonna apply this prior to your top cast application. It is VOC compliant in all areas of the United States and Canada. It's water-based and membrane forming. 
It won't interfere with any of the sealer's uh, adhesion treatments once removed. Do not spray this on glass or metal. Uh, it will etch glass. It will etch metal. So uh, please use poly and uh, tape to uh, mask off those uh, areas. Uh, it must be removed within 24 to 36 hours as well. Okay, Topcast EX200 wash off extender. This is uh, a favorite product of mine. Uh, this product, the EX200, increases the window for removing top cast. So you could go and apply your top cast, leave, come back the next day and remove your top cast. This enhances and extends uh, that window of uh, removal time. Uh, what's really nice about it, what I've seen in my territory is more consistent finishes, uh, time management. So your crews can go and leave the job site and then come back and uh, remove the product the next day and go work on another project. Uh, easier to use uh, than using plastic. Uh, honestly, I don't recommend using plastic over top cast. The only reason is, uh, you know, when the plastic's hitting the top cast and wind, uh, you could uh, see uh, movement of the plastic, which might transfer into the etch of the top cast. Uh, VOC less than uh, 100 grams per liter, uh, water cleanup, easy removal and wash off. Uh, Heidi, do you want me to do the slide with the EX200? Okay, we're going to do a, a quick slide here with our EX200. I don't know if you can hear any audio. I cannot, so we're going to skip this. You can see that slide on uh, our uh, YouTube page uh, for Dayton Superior. Um, top cast uh, protection, post-applied treatments. Uh, these are designed to make your project look better and last longer. Uh, we have a few different types uh, for top cast. We have our PR300 penetrating protector, which I talked about earlier. Uh, this is a densifier waterproof combination. Uh, you spray it down after you do your top cast. This will give you a hardened densified surface cut down on uh, uh, any efflorescence or any dusting. Uh, close off all the capillaries, plus provide a waterproof uh, surface. We have our top cast CS400, which is a cure and seal. It's an ASTM 1315 cure and seal that you can go ahead and put over that uh, to not only help the product cure, but to give the product a nice sheen and uh, protect the product from uh, uh, exposure to the elements. And then we have our top cast HG500. It's our high gloss sealer. Uh, this is a very high gloss sealer that accentuates uh, the exposed aggregates that you have in, uh, in your system. And here is um, the post-apply treatments uh, side by side. Uh, the PR300 is a penetrating protector. Our CS400 is a cure and seal, and our HD500 is a high gloss sealer. The effect on the finish, the PR300 won't affect uh, the finish at all, other than you will probably see uh, water beating like a freshly waxed car. Uh, the CS400, you're going to get a semi-gloss finish, and the HG500, you're going to get a high gloss finish. For stain protection, you get minimal stain protection with the Topcast PR300. Uh, you, for this, with the H or the CS400, you get uh, better uh, stain protection because it is uh, an acrylic uh, overlay type sealer. And then with the high gloss, you get uh, the best uh, protection. You have higher solid content with our HG500. Uh, the types, uh, the PR300 is a penetrating. Uh, the CS400 is membrane forming and the HD500 is film forming. Uh, last five plus years with the PR300, uh, membrane forming, you're looking at one to two years. Now, if you're in a beach application where there's sand and everything, you might have to apply it uh, about every year or so. Um, and then the HD500 is one to three years as well. So the PR300 is a water-based penetrator, a penetrating sealer. Uh, the CS400 is water-based acrylic copolymer, and the HG500 is a water-based acrylic sealer. Now, when to apply is crucial. Uh, you can put the PR300 penetrating protector down right after wash-off. The CS400 also right after wash-off. And again, the CS400 is a cure and seal, so that's going to help curing that concrete out. And then your HG500 24 hours after wash-off. So the benefits to each one of these products, uh, 
The PR300 reduces efflorescence, gives uh, no slip uh, and uh, no slip conditions. Plus, again, it, it densifies the surface, closes off the capillaries, and reduces dusting. Uh, the CS400 reduces spalling, uh, has a very attractive uh, semi gloss finish, and meets ASTM 309, uh, should meet ASTM 1315 as well. Uh, maxis, my, maximizes the concrete strength, allowing that 28-day uh, curing window that you need for ASTM uh, C309. Uh, highly decorative finish uh, for the HG500, so extreme shine, uh, compatible with all uh, Dayton Superior water-based cures. Okay, these are the results here. Uh, these are one of our top cast display boards uh, that we all carry around with us. Uh, the PR300's penetrating protector. Uh, you see top cast 01 finish, which is a sandblast finish. Uh, with the PR300 on the left there, uh, you see the water bead completely on the top. So freshly waxed car, think of it that way. Uh, the second one is our top cast 05 with no sealer whatsoever. So you see how the water penetrates into the concrete and uh, there's no protection on there whatsoever. Uh, the third one is our top cast 25 with the CS400. So you have a medium sheen, uh, you have a membrane forming application, and you can also see how the water sits on the top like a freshly waxed car. Now we have our top cast 75 with nothing on it. Again, you could see how the water penetrates through the surface into the concrete, no protection on that surface whatsoever. And then we have the, T, the TC125 with the HG500. Um, you can barely even see the water sitting on the top there, but it's on the top. Crystal clear, uh, good protection, and uh, you're insured for a good product for uh, a long duration. Okay, pre-use considerations and troubleshooting and achieving the best results with TopCast. Uh, these are crucial uh, steps here. Uh, that we go and follow. So number one is understanding your specs. Determine the desired surface and appearance. Uh, determine your etch levels, micro, medium, deep, combo, and then uh, integral color, pigment uh, to the surface uh, that you would get from your ready mix producer. So determine the color. Um, I'm on uh, uh, pre-construction calls all the time and going out there and meeting with uh, designers, engineers, landscape architects, and contractors and helping them determine and, and making sure that Dayton Superior meets their needs as far as their expectations on what they're looking for. Okay, concrete mix design parameters. Uh, these are crucial as well. Uh, establish a de design mix parameters for uh, micro, medium, or deep etch. Aggregate, size, color, and types. I'm working on projects with major theme parks right now where we're doing mock-ups on 30 plus different aggregates that are sourced from around the world. Um, you can see these aggregates. These aggregates could be added into the concrete mix. Uh, it's all what you all are looking for. Uh, same mix design might all, not always work for all etches. Now, uh, we'll be glad to go ahead and provide you uh, technical support, uh, reviewing your uh, mix designs, uh, making sure that uh, uh, you have a good uh, project that you're doing. Okay, pre-planning again, uh, when and how to pour. Uh, these are crucial. I've been on job sites where uh, they've designed and they called us in after the fact and we're sitting there scratching our heads wondering, how are you going to go and spray the top cast down? So make sure that you get us TSRs involved early in your project planning. So that way we can go through and make sure you uh, have a good solid project. Uh, isolated projects and water containments. Now, TopCast is 100% uh, compliant as far as VOC regulations in the United States and Canada. Uh, with that being said, when people see cement particles at the wash-off point uh, going down sewers, they might get a little concerned. So I always recommend checking uh, with local municipalities, uh, environmental protection and whatnot to make sure that uh, you have containment systems in place for wash off. Uh, lead times, you wanna make sure that you have your lead times down pat so that way you have your top cast there uh, well before the concrete truck shows up. Uh, same mix design not necessarily works for all etches. Again, get with us uh, TSRs at Dayton Superior. We'll be glad to assist you and review the mix designs. 
Um, budget as well. Um, we were talking about Intergo colors on the last slide. Um, like dark blue Intergo color can cost as much as $600 a pound. And it depends on the loading on how many pounds it would take per yard. So um, there's some expensive options, but for Topcast itself, you're only looking uh, at a, a, a dollar or two more, uh, depending on regions of the country, as far as uh, pricing goes for an exposed aggregate finish uh, over gray broom finish concrete. Uh, and then for instance, our EX200, I recommend that on every job site, you're only looking about a six cent average uh, per square foot uh, for the EX200. Well worth the insurance that you get as far as uh, ensuring consistent etch and, uh, and wash off times. Okay, mock-up panels. I recommend this every time. Um, your expectation and what you can do as a contractor could be different from a landscape architect that specifies the job. Always good to have everybody there. I'll give you an example. A large theme park uh, I was working on. Um, I had the head of hardscapes from the theme park there for a 1 a.m. pour. I had the landscape architect there for a 1 a.m. pour and the contractor there for a 1 a.m. pour doing mock-ups for this project. Uh, it was excellent because everybody's expectations were met. Um, the mock-up showed exactly what everybody was looking for. Uh, these are crucial and make sure that you have uh, your landscape architect or designer or, designer or uh, end user um, sign off on these. Okay, application considerations. Your Topcast uh, Site Saver 100, SS100 protects your project areas. Again, you want to make sure that you do not put this on glass or metal because it will etch. Uh, you get consistent coverage uh, with our um, EX200. Uh, one person to spray the entire project. This is crucial because when you're spraying down the top cast, I might spray it differently from what you spray it. Uh, it could create inconsistent finish. So make sure that you have that same guy spraying the entire project. Uh, top cast dry time is uh, approximately one hour after after uh, application. It gets again, it's dependent on ambient temperature and humidity and uh, wind and uh, sunlight. Uh, resist uh, slight rain. Now the EX two hundred uh, is a little bit better for uh, your rain. Uh, so here's potential uh, causes for ins inconsistent finishes: improper product storage or outdated uh, material. The product has a two year shelf life. Uh, did not mix the product using a mechanical mixer. We require it to be mixed for three minutes prior to pouring it into the uh, sprayer. Also, you want to make sure that you use a strainer on the sprayer to make sure that no crystals will go in getting the sprayer and jam up your spray tip. Uh, poor finishing techniques. Uh, trail marks left didn't push down the aggregates enough. Uh, should have a smooth flat fit, uh, surface with cement paste cream on the top. Uh, miss the window of application. Hot weather was the concrete setup. So you want to pay attention. Again, that EX200 will help with that. Uh, inconsistent application. Apply too little or use a cheap sprayer. Again, you want to use a good quality uh, Hudson or a Chapin metal sprayer with 0.05 fan tip and make sure that that tip does not clog. If it clogs, stop, clean it, and then re uh, uh, restart application. Product re removal time was missed. Uh, ambient conditions impact removal timing. Lower temps give you a larger window, higher temps, smaller window. Okay, uh, Jeff Mason, you're going to go ahead and do top cast applications. Look forward to that. Okay, so uh, typically you might see as specified at airports such as LAX or amusement parks or even with the Department of Public Works. Um, we're in commercial applications, residential, and municipality public work. We're going to go through a few slides and kind of show you some details of what can be done with the product. Here you have a Topcast 250 uh, etch with rock next to it. And then you can see our Topcast 03 micro etch, which creates an acid etch finish. Uh, Large commercial applications. You can see the design work that goes into these applications. 
between saw cuts and multiple colors. Additionally, you can see uh, the lot large commercial plazas that are being done. Uh, steps can be achieved on this, as well as the design work that shows multiple etches next to each other, along with colored uh, pigment. Here's a, a picture of a large healthcare center that was done. Um, it looks like it's got uh, uh, multiple etches in there as well with um, a banding that occurs. Now with the banding that occurs, typically they're formed separately on the pores. So you'll do uh, one etch uh, form and then you'll do the other etch uh, alongside of it. Jeff, are you referring to these right here? You see my uh, yes. yes, you'll see the form work that goes into uh, creating the multiple etches. Great. Uh, municipalities, uh, once again, you have uh, your top cast 25 uh, showing the design work, the saw cuts that are in there, and also um, an ADA compliant uh, ramp there that, uh, with, that goes into the uh, walkway. Uh, some more high-end design work that is uh, quite extensive. Uh, typically, um, these applications will be done with contractors that are more experienced in the industry. Uh, and um, you can see the banding that's occurring and the saw cut occurring and, and the, you know, the, the seat wall that's, that's been top casted there. Primarily, this we come in with this these type of applications, the residential ones with the contractors that are um, needing some assistance on understanding the process. And uh, we do a lot of work, field work with uh, with those contractors. Yeah, this is your uh, typical day-to-day -day type application. We'll see with TopCast with, uh, you know, some concrete finish along with etch inlays. So let me ask you guys a question while I have you. Type 1L concrete is something that people have been using, but how does TopCast uh, correspond with that? I'm, I'm thinking EX200 is really probably a good thing to use with it. What's your thoughts? Yes, uh, my, my, uh, go ahead, Jen. Type one L's uh, affect uh, the bleed water, uh, which is uh, you know we we need as far as uh, top cast application. The EX two hundred will help ensure to get you consistent finishes with your type one L's. Um, that that's really uh, our 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 stance on that right now. Right. Yeah, and I would tell you weather conditions have a lot to do with using EX. 200 on any of our applications is we have a four to 16 hour window. And here in Southern California, unless you're going to do a same day wash, um, EX 200 really is what is needed to be used to create the consistent etch. I think that's what we're finding across all of the country, not just East and West, that that is one of the, the more, uh, the products that everyone loves so much. I even heard a story where if someone hadn't put it on there, then they would have had to take up all the concrete because they something happened where they had to go many miles away to, to, to get another etching, like the etching wasn't correct. Again, why you should do mock-ups and why everything that Jeff Cole talked about. But the moral of the story here is, is that they didn't put the EX200 on there. They would have just been totally messed up with everything. And that allowed them time to be able to take it off and do the correct um, you know, project applications. It's it's a very good lab, labor uh, savings for the contractor too because you could put the EX two hundred down and leave, go do another project, and then come back the next day to do the wash off. So you're not really standing there waiting for uh, wash off. Uh, you can go move on and, and do other things to make money. Exactly, it's an efficient use of time. Mm -hmm. So we're doing pools too, right, Mr. Mason? Oh yeah, we're we're doing a lot of pool decks. Um, 
you can see here a pool deck that's got multicolored with um you know uh with uh you know um uh, finished uh finished trial finished uh, edges yeah, let's look at some more here Ah, some more applications of pool decks, a lot of them being done out there. You can see the color. Um, you can see the uh, elevations that are, you know, put in there with the top cast too to create a uh, uniform look. And while we continue to go on here, if any of you guys have questions, go ahead and put them in. We're right at 1.30 and we're just about done, but go ahead and put your questions in. So vertical, that's kind of cool. Yeah, vertical. It's it's a uh, it's it's a difficult application because you need to catch the formwork and the concrete uh, at the same time to be able to apply the top cast when it's still in a, a wet enough condition to be able to uh, etch the concrete. Great, thank you, Jeff. So I wanted to um, have one of you guys talk about we're here to help, and it's true. You, know, you can request the additional training that I was referring to. Simply scan that QR code right there. We've got samples and brochures and the handbook able to be provided to you. Uh, Jeff Cole, why don't you tell us about the other two? Uh, pre-construction meetings. Uh, we'll be glad to go ahead and attend uh, pre-construction meetings uh, for you. Uh, provide any input and technical assistance while at their meetings. So that way you uh, uh, have all your customers' expectations met. Uh, panel mock-ups, again, crucial. Uh, make sure that uh, you can get the correct etch. You meet your customer's expectations, meet the designer's expectations, uh, sign off on it, and uh, uh, ensure a, a good, smooth flowing project. Great. And I'm going to take this slide because I was on mute when you asked me if I should, if you should play the video. Mm -hmm. And I was saying no, but you couldn't hear me. And then, you know, you had the mouse, so I was walking all over you. But we have videos is the point here. We have one on the entire decorative finishing system. But we also have one on just the SS100 site seed here so you can see how to apply and what that means. In addition, the EX200 that we keep talking about um, with the surface retarder, it'll show you how to do that. And then in addition, the PR300, the 400 and the 500, basically the finishing, whether you want no sheen or a little bit of sheen or high gloss. We've got the videos out there on YouTube as well as our DaytonSuperior.com. And just real quick, we've got landing pages. So we have a top cast decorative finishing system that will show you it right there. Watch now our top cast decorative finish system. Um, you can click on that. If you just want to search on top cast through DaytonSuperior.com, you can get to all of this information different product pages, safety data sheets, like I was talking about earlier in the presentation, as well as technical data sheets. We have use guides and applications and guide documents there to assist you, handbooks we already talked about. And I wanna give a shout out to Bill McHugh. He's actually on this call right now, and he is with GCP Applied Technologies. Their website, they are partnering with us with um, this uh, TopCast. Their website is a great resource as is he and our technical sales organization, two of which are on the call today. So with that, we have a who to call map and you can see there the regional map where it says Dayton Superior. Simply click on that, find where you live and it'll tell you who your contacts are for the various areas. And I have some really exciting news to tell you about. I hope you all know about the Superior Deal of the Month. If you don't, here is one version of it. So starting, um, what, Friday? I guess that was the March 1st. We are doing not only the March um, with the top cast surface retarder sale event, but in conjunction with that, the superior deal of the month. Also, if you buy more, you can save on the whole prep and sealed product package. So what do I mean by that? Buy all of them and you get 35% off. That does not apply to the surface retarder. It is only on the SS100, the EX200 wash off, the PR300 penetrating, and the CS400, and as well as the 500 that I seem to have missed on this screen. So the entire package, less the surface retires. There are a little bit of conditions that apply and find out that awesome um, price point. You've got the discounting there, but you can uh, figure all that out and how everything goes together through your sales representative. So are there any questions? Just a smidgen over. Thank you, Jeffs. I appreciate it. I thought this was a great one. There was a, a question uh, from uh, Houston Merrill who, can you put the links for these uh, videos in the chat? Um, I'll let you answer that, Heidi. 
Absolutely. And yeah. tell you what, I can do that, but why don't I just send you, um, you know what? Yeah, I can, I can do those for you. I will also send out an email that has the video when it's going to be on YouTube, this one that we're doing right now. And I will put the links down below as well on our website so that they're all together. Thank you for that. And um, yeah, we, I'll we, all, we, we also have a question from uh, Mike Petrolina. What about using finishing aids with Topcast? Day one is big out here in the West, pros and cons. Yes, uh, you can use uh, finishing aids. Uh, we do recommend it in uh, high wind conditions, uh, low humidity, and uh, go from there. So, uh, yeah, uh, you can use finishing aids with top cast on the ranch, Mike. Great questions, guys. Got any more? Okay, well, let me actually send that link in there. And with that, thank you both, Mr. Jeff Cole and Jeff Mason. And I appreciate you taking the time, everybody on the call, and we will see you all next Tuesday. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.